Hey everyone, welcome back for episode 2. It's going to be a pretty casual episode again for us here today. Uh, the plan is going to be extending the residential area down south here a bit, as well as the industrial area just in the top corner here. Uh, but before we get into any of that, I want to address a couple things from last episode. Uh, first thing is the taxes. The taxes actually opened up for us uh, the very first milestone, but uh, I must have missed that, so uh, better late than never. I'm going to increase our taxes to 12% which is actually the maximum that you can go before the uh, residents will start complaining, so we'll leave it right there. Uh, the next thing I want to do is adjust the water pipes under our city here. I just want to make this a little bit more organized and connect the pipes here rather than across the far side over here. That way it just matches what I have on the left side here and I think it looks much better. And the last thing I want to do is add a high school. The high school uh, opened up for us just at the very end of last episode, the last milestone that we unlocked. So because education takes such a long time to level up, I'd rather get a high school in here sooner rather than later. So I think it'll work right on the corner here. It seems to cover everything that we have so far. I think that'll work well where it is. Okay, awesome. I think that covers about everything that I wanted to do uh, from last episode. So I think we should get going on the plan for today. First thing before we can start expanding our residential suburb, I want to add a little bit more industrial on the side here. We're uh, getting pretty high demand for that. So I'm going to add a couple more blocks beside the landfill. And then I'm also going to, if you look uh, right here where our power lines currently are, they are taking up some of the um, zoning blocks. So what I'm going to do is re just reroute it to an area over here that's not being used right now. And I complete all these other poles and then have all of the, uh, the grid available to us to zone some more buildings for industrial here. Now as for the suburb, I want to uh, sort of, as, as much as I can at least anyway, it's going to be limited by the, uh, the river going through here, but I want to sort of kind of mirror what I have up at the top here. Oh. Looks like we forgot some water over here. Take care of that first. Okay, we're gonna need another power plant pretty soon. We don't have quite enough money for that. So I'm gonna go uh, pretty slow on the expansion of the suburb. I'm gonna actually increase it to three speed, hopefully gain some money a little bit quicker. But as I was saying, sorry, I wanted to uh, kind of mirror uh, the suburb on the other side of the road here, uh, to an extent at least. So we're going to start with just a connection to the main artery road, the avenue, and then make sure we match up with this one over here. So that should be, oh, not quite. Looks like it's a little bit of an angle, not quite straight across. And, oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, we're gonna have to reroute this power line over here as well. I might do actually, is just come off the side over here, and then I can delete all this stuff here in the middle. This one is close enough that it's still going to get power going to the other side. Looks like that. It's going to happen. Cool. And we are uh, right on the cusp of not having enough electricity. So I am going to uh, let it play here for just a minute and meet you back in a minute when I have enough money to put uh, another coal power plant in. It's been about four months since I left off, and just as I was about to start uh, recording again, the electricity problems got uh, significantly worse than when I left. Uh, so you can see now we're on the edge of red instead of being on the edge of green, so that's perfect timing, I think. I, I left it so that I earned a little bit more than the 19000 required for the coal power plant, so that gives me a little bit of uh, money to keep going with the expansion. 
So I'm going to place my coal power plant right here on the edge of my industrial zone. Uh, one other thing that's developed uh, while we are away was the industrial demand has peaked uh, to the very top here, so I'm going to work on expanding that before I do anything else. And now that my power plant is in, I'm going to just resume the game, increase the speed just a little bit, make sure everything gets sorted out. Okay, cool. I am going to head over here and start adding a little bit more. And our water also is fluctuating to the yellow zone now, so I'm going to increase our budget for that. Go up to 70. That should be plenty. 71, that's close enough. I'm just going to zone a bunch of industrial over here. is being constructed, I am going to zone a little bit more commercial on the side here. looking pretty good so far. Demand for residential is growing again as well, so I'm going to just fill in these last couple squares right here. Uh, one other thing that opened up for us in that last milestone were parks. So I think I'd like to add one of those here beside the high school. I'm going to add a basketball court just on the side, and I'm actually going to put a pathway in the side here. Finish up with some more residential. Okay, I'm going to uh, continue with the uh, layout of our uh, suburb on the, the bottom side here, but I'm not going to bore you with just watching me do that, so I'm going to turn that into a time lapse and I'll see you all in a minute. So initially my plan was to actually have the highway uh, continue on down south this way and then cross the river and curve onto this next tile over here. However, I'm not, I'm not really sure I quite like the way it's going to look on, on this tile here. We don't really have much room uh, due to the, the big hill, the big mountain on the, on the side here. So I think what I'd like to maybe try and do is uh, have the highway go underground for a little bit. That way we can maximize our uh, zoning area on this tile here. Um, so I'm going to back this off a little bit. I need to actually also make sure I leave myself enough room around this roundabout to eventually upgrade it if I need to as the traffic increases when the population goes up. So I think I'm going to just uh, back the highway off a little bit. And have our suburb over here 
just like on the left side here, across the, the avenue, the, the suburb streets that line up. I'd like to have the same thing on the other side here with the industrial section. I think that looks lined up to me. Lined up across here. You can see it's a little bit too far, so I'm going to go back and delete that. go into a tunnel. Just for now, just so I can have a general layout of what I think it should look like. Um, I'm going to continue that on a little bit later, but uh, I think that'll do for now. And then we can continue expanding our street layout. So one of the problem I've started to encounter now is I'm, I'm starting to get into this hill here. And if I start zoning buildings on the hill like this, it's gonna the textures are going to look all weird and the, the terrain is going to get all messed up as the as the buildings go in. So I'd like to do a little bit of terraforming, but unfortunately I don't have that much cash to, uh, to do any major terraforming right now. So I think I will do that also off camera so I don't bore you, uh, just to flatten this area out a little bit. So I will meet you all back here in a minute. Hey everyone, welcome back again. I apologize for doing so much offline work this episode, but I didn't think it'd be very exciting for you guys to watch me just sit here and slowly accumulate money. So, um, but as you can see, uh, my terraforming project has been a success. Uh, it doesn't look that great on the cliff here, but uh, I will adjust that over time. It's really not that important for it to look nice right now. I have the layout that I was hoping to get. Um, it it's a follows sort of a similar pattern that the upper suburb here does but uh, just a little bit different and uh, yeah so there's a couple things that happened um, while I was waiting for money for the terraforming first thing is our um, industrial area had a bit of a setback um, most of the buildings here are only level one uh, so they require 12 uneducated workers or more however uh, because it's been such a long time since uh, I started doing terraforming the education level of our city has actually increased and most of our population is educated or well educated. So uh, I've been trying to level up these buildings to uh, tier 2 because that will allow some more educated and well educated citizens to work in the factories. I added a uh, police station, firehouse and medical clinic here to try and level these up because most of them require uh, more services, covered by more services. Um, but that really hasn't had much of an effect. Um, I have a feeling there's something else that I'm missing to put in there. Uh, so to try and combat that, I have uh, zoned these four residential blocks right here because new citizens that come into the city are uneducated. So I'm hoping that will fill the void of uh, wanted workers for all these buildings, but uh, we'll have to resume the simulation to see how that turns out. Uh, one other thing that happened was we actually reached the next milestone, uh, which is Boomtown. And inside here is the highways, which we talked about on the very first episode, that I will be upgrading these roads eventually to highways. I don't think I'm going to need to do that right now because the traffic isn't that bad. Um, so what I have now is able to handle any sort of traffic that's going to be coming through. And the other thing that was unlocked, not that I want to buy anything right now, <laughs> Uh, another thing that was unlocked was the cemetery, which I will have to get in right away because that's usually an indication of uh, citizens are going to start dying in the city here, and we've got to get a cemetery in to kind of handle that. So um, I'm going to put two. I'm going to put one for each uh, one for each little area. I'm going to put one up top here, and then one down here. I think that will cover everything well for now. 
And yeah, so I'm going to resume the simulation and go from there. Oh, as you can see, that cemetery has caused a lot of these buildings now to be upgrading. It's awesome. So, um, what I want to actually do, our demands are sort of kind of getting up there, so I'm going to start zoning more uh, residential down here. I think I want to put in another elementary school to make sure everything's covered down on this section. Actually, I want to put it right here. This, this little corner up at the very top here doesn't look like it's quite covered, but uh, a little bit of green road there should be all right. Now, we were uh, just on the edge of not being uh, able to support all the eligible kids for elementary, so that'll be good. Our high school, 700 out of 1,000. I'm going to have to put a new one in here pretty quick. But I think I can wait for now, because that is quite expensive. And there we go. I think the uh, new residential area that I've put in here has satisfied the need for the workers. Or maybe not. Maybe just some well-educated people have taken over. have to zone a little bit more here for the industry. Um, so the reason why I have some some little industry squares and others, uh, what I did when, when buildings are abandoned, I usually demolish them and dezone the industrial area there. And that way I can just put buildings back in as demand arises rather than just waiting and having uh, empty spots uh, waiting to be zoned in. One of the other things we can do while we're waiting here is um, put in pedestrian pathways. Uh, I got a question from somebody wondering why I had been putting gaps in between all my buildings here in the residential area. And the reason for that is the pedestrian pathways. I'm going to try and put a network in between. Oh, that is underground. I don't want that. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of a network in between all of the um, suburbs here. That way, I'm hoping that uh, over time, as the population increases, most of the residents will choose to walk rather than drive, and that will just put uh, way less strain on our road network, and hopefully our traffic will stay going well. I think it's at, let's see, 95% right now. I, I realize we only have 2,700 people, but uh, this is a step in the right direction, I think, to just keep it flowing as, as well as it can be. So I'm just going to continue doing this pedestrian pathway here. I'll probably do a little time lapse and I'll meet you in a minute. Okay, there we go. Awesome. And you can see actually, let me just slow this down a little bit. You can see there's lots of people already using these pedestrian pathways that I put uh, down the center here. Uh, looks like most of them are coming down to the commercial area we have on the avenue. So I think that's a uh, pretty good investment and uh, should hopefully reduce the traffic going through the neighborhood there for everybody. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to do was um, connect our suburb to our industrial area here without having to go down the avenue and around the roundabout. So I have uh, two main roads that kind of go through the whole thing, through through both suburbs to the avenue. So I have this road going north-south here and then this road going east-west and they cross. So what I want to do is connect uh, this east-west cross crossing road to the uh, industrial area here. Looks 
good. And another thing I want to do actually is uh, make some of the pedestrian pathways go across as well. I'm hoping that some people will choose to walk to work rather than drive. So, um, actually this was probably a poor place to put the cemetery. I would, I would have rather had a pedestrian pathway going across here, but uh, we'll do it down here for now, I think. And then once this gets full and we empty it, I'll move it, but uh, it'll be okay for right now. So I'm not going to connect it directly to, I can't really connect it directly to the road, so I'm going to put it as close as I can to the crosswalk. And I'm hoping people will come up and cross there, and if not, I will connect it directly to here and just make a bit of an overpass. just to make it symmetrical and come back across. Now I'm hoping people will come and walk across that bridge. Let's just check it and find out. And there we go. First people walking across the bridge, somebody and their dog, somebody on their bike, someone else walking. Perfect. Okay, we got huge demand for industry now, so I'm going to zone some more over here again. We are very close to um, leveling up to tier 2 for our industry buildings. Uh, looks like we need to educate more citizens. Elementary, high school, I don't think we have university yet, no, 7,500 people, so we're pretty much doing the best we can right now for educating our citizens. I think it's just going to take a little bit more time. This building needs to be covered by more services. Oh, wow, I can't believe I forgot this. Uh, I guess one of the other things that unlocked with the um, Boomtown, uh, let me just double check, were the disaster um, services. So I'm going to have to work on getting a couple of those in here. Looks like there's not too much here, here at the beginning. Um, shelters and response unit. Not so much in terms of detecting disasters but we'll have to get some of these shelters in for everybody. Now what I'm gonna do is paint a district just around the area here where the, the suburb is. That way I can get an idea so about how many people are living in this area. So it's 1,500, so we'll need two emergency shelters for that area right now. less than a thousand here, so we'll need probably three to cover everything well. So I think at either end, we'll do one here, one up here. They're quite expensive, so we can't put too many in. And then we can plan our evacuation route. I'm not going to put a stop right beside where the emergency shelter is because I'm going to assume that people who live really close either walk or drive and they will be able to get there pretty quick. Oh, there we go. Look at all these buildings leveling up now. That's what I was missing. Going up to tier 2 for a bunch of these industrial buildings. Cool. Back to the route, make sure we get everything covered as best we can anyway. Make another one here, that one here, here, and then straight back to what's got to 
curve all the way back through here and then back around. I'm not really sure if, you know, obviously I don't want to make the roots too long, um, but um, I'm not really sure what the response time in terms of um, how fast citizens can evacuate versus when disasters strike. So I think that's also going to depend on what sort of disaster detection services I have. So I have none right now. So I would imagine any sort of disasters that do come, I won't have too much warning right now. So I have to hope that everybody can evacuate in time. Okay, that covers just about everything. I think that'll work well. And then we'll get one more down here. Put it right beside the cemetery, I think will be good. Okay, cool. Um, and I don't know if, I mean, I guess, I guess uh, the industrial area must need evacuation uh, shelters as well. I, I, I don't know for sure, but I guess it makes sense. So I should probably put one in here for everybody who's at work, except it's going to cost most of my money, so I might just wait a little bit. It's probably not enough food. I'm assuming they are going to receive a shipment of food. There we go. This truck right here just delivered some. Here's another one. Uh, the bug spray van is uh, delivering food, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Does that make sense? So most of these buildings now, as you can see, are tier two. So they're requiring educated and well-educated workers rather than mostly uneducated workers. So this is gonna be awesome for our citizens as we level up through our education. Let's check in on this pathway. Looks like still lots of people are using it, which is good. Still lots of people coming down to the commercial district here. No power. Okay, ooh, our electrical is uh, down in the yellow here. Just increase the budget a little bit. I actually had the budget decreased uh, after our second coal power plant while I was doing terraforming just so I could maximize the amount of money that I was earning. That should be enough to fix everything. Water availability should bounce back up now that electricity is on. But this is also in the yellow, so I'm going to increase the budget for that as well. Go up to 80. looking good. Sewage is backing up. Why? Why? Okay. Make sure everything's covered for the future when I want to zone that, because so, I'll probably forget when the time comes. Just increase the three speed. Still lots of industrial demand, so I'm going to keep filling this area in again. for all that to fill in. I think it'd be a good time as well to start filling in some parks. 
get everybody happy, or happier, at least. I hope they're a little bit happy already. And I want to use the spaces right here. Just kind of put a little bit of a separation between the commercial area and our residential area. I think it's going to be nice to have some, some benches there for people to sit and eat their food that they might buy at the commercial industry, pardon me, commercial district there. And our roundabout is getting a little bit busier, but it seems to be handling our traffic still quite well. Still more demand for industry, even though I just zoned a bunch, so we're going to continue zoning. It's all going in very quickly. Right, we need to educate more citizens. All right, what do we need for tier three? Covered by more services. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Uh, oh yeah, I didn't have enough money. Looks like I have a little bit more money now. So I'm gonna put the evacuation shelter in here. I think that will do right there. We just paint a district real quick. Uh, 1,200 workers, so we're going to need a second evacuation shelter. Just plan a quick route around everywhere for now. I think that is causing everything to level up to level 3 though, or most buildings anyway. There, now we're needing Highly educated, well educated, educated, and very few uneducated workers. I think I'll put another shelter. Looks like I have enough money. Just put it right here. Plan a quick evacuation route. Oh, water problems and electricity. Okay. I think my budget was back up to 100%, so we are going to need another coal power plant. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just bought that emergency shelter, so I barely have enough money for another coal power plant, but I kind of have to put one in, so we'll put another one in right here, maybe. Don't want my pollution to go too far towards the avenue, so maybe I'll put it up here. That should fix everything. Perfect. Emergent shelters, got food now. I wonder I wonder why this is actually decreasing. I, I don't think anybody should be in there, um, but I guess the food must spoil over time, so it has to be constantly restocked. I'm not sure. And our landfill is full. Better get another one of those in there. Finish our evacuation route for our shelter here. I know there's no there's no buildings here quite yet, but there will be pretty quick, so put some stops there for now. Not enough educated workers. I think we've out-leveled the education of our, our citizens here, so these uh, we're having the opposite problem of last time, where we didn't have enough uneducated workers, now we don't have enough highly educated workers. I think we'll just have to weather the storm and push through. Might have to, here we go, there's an abandoned building here already. I'm gonna have to go through and destroy and rebuild a lot of these buildings, I think, as our, as our population uh, gets more educated. Speaking of which, I think I should put a high school aim for this uh, bottom area here. 
right in the middle. Looks like it's going to cover everything. Let's see if I can line it up with the highway there. That'll look good. And just a temporary connection with electricity here for now. And water. Gonna have to extend everything now to our new area. Continue zoning residential. Looks like that the demand's increasing again for that. I'm gonna keep with putting the little gaps in between uh, some of the houses, because I will fill that in with pedestrian pathways again, just like up top here. You can see all the people still using these ones in here. So I think that worked out quite well. Here we go. So after these buildings can't find the right workers, after a time they will get abandoned. Oh, we're sitting in the yellow for our water here. Increase the budget again a bit. So uh, like I said before, usually what I do once a building gets abandoned, I will demolish it. And then when I switch to the zoning panel here, I can actually dezone just those little squares where the buildings were. And that way it's not just sitting there waiting for the demand to climb to actually build a building. Then I can actually choose when to build the building. Those new houses should now connect the high school to the grid, so I'm going to take away this power line that I put in there. And this area down here is going to need its own set of uh, emergency services. Station, fire, gonna need a clinic here in a minute. Parks. I should probably put some parks in here while I'm at it before I start zoning in and have to destroy people's houses. Mm, it'd be nice if I could put another one in there. I'm gonna have to move stuff here. I don't think I can move this quite yet though. Empty that. Everything should go to here. And then I can put in that second park there. It'd be nice to connect them too with the pathway in behind. Move this right now just over there. Hope the evacuation route stays. And yes it does. Oh no, I can't put that right there because I want to move the cemetery up. Okay. Put it right here. Okay, that was quick. Just move that up a little bit. And that should give us enough room to put another small park in right here. Just slide this back right there. have enough room for a pathway in behind looks like let's connect these two parks and turn this back on I think that looks pretty good Oops. oh well it's probably gonna get abandoned eventually anyway for residential still high as ever. It's good to know people want to keep moving into our city here.
Looks like we are also getting near the yellow again on our water. I'm going to increase that 100% now before we start having problems. Electricity is also in the yellow. So. Wow, that was quick. I, I thought I maybe had forgotten to put in a second or third coal power plant, but uh, looks like I did, and we're already in the yellow for electricity again, even though our budget's at 100%. So we might as well put another one in there for now. Residential still in demand, so we're going to keep zoning. Uh, please let me know uh, how you guys feel about the, the weather effects, the rain. Uh, it's a little bit tough to see, but I don't I don't actually mind it myself. Uh, I like to kind of keep it on because I believe uh, part of one of the disasters that can happen is lightning strike. That will either cause a forest fire or strike one of the uh, tall buildings or the, the electrical wires here and kind of damage stuff. So I kind of want to see how that goes. Let's just try it out. Traffic is, is building up quite a bit, but it looks like the roundabout's still managing to handle everything. It's still at 95%. Uh, we do have some red areas, but traffic's not really building up. Uh, we can see the cars stopped here. I think there's a set of uh, stoplights. So, or pardon me, traffic lights. <laughs> um, so they'll, they'll be doing that, but it seems to be handling traffic well. 96, so it's going to fluctuate a bit still huge demand for residential so I'm going to fill in this last little area here and with that I think it's time we end this episode thank you very much for watching we've made lots of progress today but there's still much more that we need to do Please leave a like, dislike, or comment to let me know how I'm doing, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the development of the city. Thank you again, and I'll see you for the next episode.